All right, what's up YouTube? MCO40 here. We're gonna be opening up Synchron Extreme. Uh, brought to you guys by the good people at Big End Collectibles. Uh, so please do check out BigEndCollectibles.com uh, for your Yu-Gi-Oh! Synchron Extreme needs, along with any other trading card games. So, let's dig into this, because this structure deck is one of the best in a long time in terms of value that you get for ten dollars so rule book uh deck list and this paper mat this paper mat actually looks really good kind of just look at this here for a second featuring all the junk monsters and then, of course, a thing that we all care about, the deck. So, let's dig in to this. So what do you get in this deck? Uh, Stardust Warrior. Uh, this is one of the more interesting cards. So, it's one tuner, synchro monster, plus one or more non-tuner synchro monster. Uh, so, typically Stardust and formula would be kind of ideal to get into this. And then during either player's turn, uh, if your opponent would special summon a monster, you can tribute this card to negate that summon if you do destroy that monster. And during the end phase, if this card negated that summon, and if you do, okay. Uh, during the end phase, this effect was activated and was not negated, you can special summon this card from your graveyard, which is pretty gosh dang good for being a floater with 3,000 attack. Um, if this card is destroyed by battle, or if this face-up card leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one level 8 or lower warrior-type synchro fusion monster from your extra deck. Uh, this special summon is treated as a synchro summon. Uh, so the monster it brings out at least can be special summoned afterwards, which is really good. Uh, and then Jet Warrior, uh, it's Jet Synchron, plus one or more non-tuner monsters. Uh, if this card is synchro summoned, you can target one card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. And then if this card is in your grave, attribute one level two or lower monsters, special we'll summon this card in defense mode. Uh, but it gets banished when it leaves the field. And then you can only use this effect of Junk Synchron once per turn. So, or Jet Warrior per turn. So Flutter. Um, and then this card's kind of the heat resistance of the deck. Jet Synchron. So if this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material, you can add one junk monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, if this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, so we'll just summon this card, uh, but banish it. And you can only use the effect of junk or jet synchron once per turn. So it's a level one tuner that you can special summon from the graveyard. Beautiful in my opinion. Scrap Fist. Oh yes, a scrap named card that has nothing to do with scraps. Uh, so you can target a Junk Warrior. Uh, if this card battles an opponent's monster this turn, uh, you apply one of the following effects. Uh, your opponent can activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Uh, if it attacks a defense mode monster, gains trample. Uh, double any battle damage your opponent takes. It cannot be destroyed by battle. And uh, destroy the opponent's monster battle at the end of the damage step. So, just gaining all of these effects for no reason. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, but it's only specific for Jet. Excuse me, for Junk Warrior. Uh, Excel Synchron. One tuner plus one or more non tuner monsters. Uh, once per turn, you can send one Synchron monster from your deck to the graveyard to activate one of these effects. Uh, so, you can increase this card's level by the level of the monster sent. Uh, you can reduce this card's level by the monster sent. And then during your main phase, you can immediately, after this effect resolves, Synchro summon one monster. Uh, so it is basically uh, the ability of Formula Synchron, which is really nice. Um, once again, though, it's level 5, it's really easy to go into, and then you can manipulate level. And it's a tuner, which is pretty good. Uh, Rush Warrior, anyone recognize this guy? Uh, during damage calculation, if a warrior synchro type monster you control battles the opponent's monster, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Uh, your battling monster's attack becomes double its current attack until the end of damage step. Our damage calculation. Then you can banish this card from your graveyard and then target one synchron monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So, honest much. Uh, synchron carrier. Uh, once during your main phase, you can normal summon one synchron monster in addition to your normal summoner set. Um, if another synchron monster is sent to your graveyard as synchro material for synchro material, uh, you can summon a warrior 
or machine synchron monster uh, while you can control this card. And then you can social summon one synchron token with uh, 1000 attack, zero defense. And you can only use this effect of synchron carrier once per turn. Pretty good. You also get two junk synchrons, quick draw, one drill, one turbo, one unknown, one fuar synchron, synchron explorer, speed warrior, sonic warrior, doppel warrior, quobolt, tuning layer, swift, love leader, uh, one of the best reprints in the set by far, effect veiler, genix neutron, genix ally birdman, plague, uh, these guys, and then let's get into these cards. So, Limit Overdrive. Uh, you can return one Tuner Synchron Monster and one non-Tuner Synchron Monster to control the extra deck. So, summon one Synchro Monster from your extra deck that has a level equal to the combined level of those two, ignoring the summoning conditions. Really easy way to abuse certain monsters we have in this game. Starlight Junction. You can tribute one tuner monster, special summon one synchro monster from your deck with a different level than the tributed monster that had on the field. During your opponent's turn, if you special summon a synchro monster from your extra deck, target one card in the field and shuffle it into the deck. You can only use the effect of each effect of Starlight Junction per turn. Uh, this card is absolutely insane, especially with Jet Synchro. Uh, you get one tuning in here, Reinforcement, Warrior Returning Alive, Dark Eruption, one for one. This is another good reprint. A double Cyclone. Oh, Scrap Iron Statue. When a Spell Trap card that is already face up on your opponent's side of the field activates its effect, destroy that card. Also, after that, set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard, target one junk monster in your graveyard, especially summon in defense mode. You can only use each effect of Scrap Iron Statue per turn. Uh, scrap Iron Scarecrow. Limiter Overload. Call. Imperial Iron Wall. Another common reprint of Solemn Warning. And Junk Warrior brings us home on this deck. Uh, so like I said, there's a lot of uh, value in here. Solemn Warning, Imperial Iron Wall, Night Beam, Effect Veiler. A lot of good, insane reprints for this deck. Along with really good card in Jet Syngron and Sardis Warrior. So guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this deck. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you guys check out BigNCollectibles.com and please check out their Facebook page in the description as well. Once again, thanks for watching and have a good time.